Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we have another Game Pass classic in Escape Academy. This game was developed by Coin Crew Games, published by Skybound Games and I am 8-bit and is usually available to you for £14.99 slash $19.99 but as I said is included on Xbox Game Pass right now so have at it mateys. So you all know escape rooms, right? Tricky puzzles you need to solve in under a certain time limit in order to not get swallowed up by the ground as it sucks upon your meaty teat. <sighs> well, maybe not the last bit, but still, you know what it is, <laughs> and this is no exception. So these puzzles were handcrafted with love and attention by those experts in the real-life escape room field. This is fun, but it's not so hard. Not as hard as you may think. I mean, you're following this guide, so it's probably, it's definitely not going to be as hard as you think. Um, now, achievements-wise, there are a lot that are story-related, basically for completing all 13 levels, collecting 10 newspapers, 10 missions with A pluses, but again, that's very easy, so nay panic, plus a few miscellaneous ones now and again to keep the brain wired. All in all, it is a great game, but hopefully, following this, you can get this done in around one to two hours, rather than the usual five to six hours stated time. So with that being said then, let us begin. Now, there are three co-op achievements, by the way, that we will do at the very end of the game, so don't even panic your butt snatches off about that yet, because we ain't gonna do it. And we're gonna start off with the prologue then. So we move around, um, what we're gonna do normally with dialogue and cutscenes, we're just gonna skip with the start button. Um, you press the A button. You can either press the A button to smash through the dialogue or we're just going to press the start button just to skip it entirely Because why the hell not? So as you can see there, there's also one achievement there for sprinting 400 meters So and the way you do that is just click in the left stick So whenever you have an opportunity make sure to click in the left stick Otherwise when we start we'll head to the right to this little safe and we're going to input the words F R E E Which means free which spells free so F R E E when that opens open up the key Press the B button to back out, turn around, and go to the escape room. Uh, by the way, to get the 10 A pluses, um, do not use the hint button. You, you can use a hint, uh, but don't. Just, just don't use the hint button at all, because that will ruin your A pluses. If you accidentally do, you can just quit the level and start again, or you can just replay it later on. So, as we begin here, we're going to go to the back of the room, have a look at this uh, cork board, and we're going to pick up the top left one, which says Ali B's. The middle one, which says Eels, Eels Biz Card, and the one just to the right of that, which says Jeb's Biz Card. So make sure to grab those three. Again, don't press the X button at all for a hint. Um, go into the room right next to it, and you can see uh, one, two, and three numbered here. So Jeb, as you can see, I, sometimes I've marked up the puzzles, just so you know. We never press the Y button to go into the inventory either. You can literally just press the A button to use an item. So what we're going to do is put Jeb on the left, as you can see. So Jeb's Piz card. So you press the A button to use the item and then the A button again to use it wherever. So on the second one, we're going to go with Ali's Biz card. So make sure to put that up. And then on the third one, as you can see there, we're going to use Eel's Biz card. That's biz -tastic. When that picks up, or uh, uh, rises up, we're going to grab the Key of Lies, which is unfortunate. So we can turn around, we can head straight to the toilets, because god damn, I'm going to dump them. So we need to go and dump in the out of order toilet. There it is on the right. Ah, trick ya. That's funny stuff, huh? <laughs> now, we just follow the uh, stairs down. When we come down here, turn to the left before speaking to the headmaster. And we're going to see our first newspaper out of 13. There's one of these in every level. You only need 10 for the achievement, though. So don't worry if you actually miss one. Again, doesn't matter. Because uh, you can just replay the level later and do it anyway. So make sure that it says the escapist times. And that will count as one of 13. Towards your newspaper, or one of 10. After you speak to the headmaster, we can get on the train. And ching, 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 ching ding, ding, dong, dong. We are out of here. Right, now, as you can see, I got the final grade of A right there. That is because I accidentally pressed the hint button. So if you never use the hint button and you um, complete the room in under the, the time limit, you will get the A+. plus. It's very easy to do. Uh, you can have a look at all these puzzle reviews if you want, but again, for the majority of the game, we're just going to skip everything that we possibly can. So a few things again to remember. Um, as we have a look at the headmaster's office, wherever you've got an opportunity, click in the left stick to run. There is 
Um, a great part on the last level anyway, if you still need the achievement, which of course I'll let you know when we get there. Um, that is your rival who hates us, apparently. She seems to be the only other chick in school. Or the only other person in school. But welcome to the entrance exam then. So this is the second level. This is the first proper level, if you will. And I quote, and I quote. So we can just go ahead, skip all this burr. Post the exam. Well, okay. What we're going to do first, though, is turn to immediately to your left, and on the floor, there will be the second escapist time, so that'll be newspaper 2 out of 13. Then we're going to turn around. We can finish the level now, but we're not going to. We're going to head straight for the back here, and we are going to press A to inspect the books. A to inspect the books again. And then we need to put this in a particular order, and you need to click Egypt, Japan, and Greece. Three countries I would very much like to visit. Anything's got to be better than Britain, where, you know, you get bummed by Boris left, right, and center. Anyway, into this room, we'll head to the piano. Now, you need to do this in a specific order to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. So, it's E, D, C, D, E, E, E. D, 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 E, G, G, E, D, C, D, E, 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 D, D, E, D, C. And that is my rendition of Mary Had a Little Lamb. But if you do that exactly as... I mean, you'd probably be better off following it on screen rather than my disgusting voice. But when you've got that, you'll have Mary Had a Little Lamb. That achievement will unlock. Now we can just head straight for the terminal in the middle of the room. And we are going to use the name... Um, Sandra Jacqueline Solange. So Sandra Jacqueline Solange. Now, and that'll be the end of this level. Now there are a couple of levels we have to do um, to complete it tidily. Oh, tidily, sorry, that's a very Welsh word there. No, but there are a couple of levels that we can just uh, skip through in a couple of minutes, uh, skipping and missing out a lot of puzzles. Other times, of course, we will have to do it, uh, as I said, tidily, I suppose. But we have done the entrance exam. We are hardcore. We are uh, steroided up to death. So we can just get rid of all this. Now we begin chapter one properingly. And there is another achievement, which I should let you know. I didn't say first, but I am going to let you know now. So this is our dorm room. There's not much, or there's nothing to do in here. So we're just going to head straight out. And you can see these little sort of characters on the sort of headmaster's office and the quad here. So that basically means that we can talk to a character. Now we need to talk to eight characters. So every time you see that uh, little green icon... We need to go into that place and talk to the character. And as you can see, once you've done so, a little dot or a little sort of ring will appear. But this will be the first two out of eight for the achievement chatterbox that we need to do. Once that's done, you can choose any level that you particularly like. We're just going to go into the thresher. And we are going to start this level. Uh, again, just to uh, obviously inspect that, and it's the level under pressure. Now, there's an achievement for getting this done in under three minutes, but again, that's fine, because it's going to be one of those that instead of... We are just going to do immediately in the keypad. So, as soon as we start here, we're going to turn slightly to the left and grab a newspaper. Then we're going to turn around, and then we need to just input the first word into the keypad. So, it's not like the old Nokia one, so it's fear. So, it's just F-E, to the left, A, and then down one, R. And then we can climb up the ladder. So again, it's not like, you know the old Nokia phones where you had to tap in and tap, you know, keep tapping for ages to get to the certain letter? It's not. You just have to pick the specific um, letter once. So the second one here is Will. So go to where it says W and then I-L-L. -L. So Will from Stranger Things who, um, uh, well, we all know Stranger Things. I will go there. As we climb to the ladder, immediately go to the third one, which is Slow. S. L O W, very Homer Simpson slow. They think I'm slow, but you should get the achievement Lockbuster. So even if you do this level or the other one, you should get that for completing ten locks. Uh, into the next one is your, so Y O U and R. They think I'm slow, and then we're gonna climb. The, <laughs> sorry, we're gonna climb the ladder again. Head to the left. 
and all the way to the left there it is probably could have gone to the right that would have been easier but then it's just mine so m i n d but we're not quite done with the level yet so we need to climb up one more time and we have to input these once again into another little command center here it is so what you have to do then is use the middle button there to go over to the same one so again it's fear will slow your mind again uh, for some reason though the only button that seemed to work for me was the left one uh, so that's why I'm having a bit of trouble for some reason but it is all you got to do is put in fear will slow your mind and that should be fine <laughs> again hopefully you can do this a lot better than me I can guarantee you're probably better at video games than I am there we go so fear will and again for some reason the, the right button wasn't working for me for whatever particular reason so I had to do it this way there we go fear will slow your mind press the unlock button and da she has it now we can just press the start button to skip through everything. I did drown you! I did drown you! Impressive! You shouldn't have even survived that. Damn, generally th I genuinely thought that said Thrush Rusher was the achievement there, but uh, no, it didn't. Uh, thank God. Nobody wants a Thrush Rusher. So, as we come out of our dorm, remember to go back to the Thresher, because it's where we got the little green icon, dude. And we're just going to go ahead and speak to Jeb, get some head off Jeb. <laughs> get it, because he got a tiny head? <laughs> Somebody missed head day. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do now is go to the Hall of Escapists. We're going to complete this level. So we're going to speak to Professor Slipbag, and we're going to start the Escape Artist. Now, this is the first level where we actually have to basically do it, you know, more or less properly now. Which, again, is fine. Tagging the monument, that's all we got to do. So, first things first, we're going to go to the left room as we begin. And interact with this keypad, and it is, the code is right, left, right, up, down, down. So again, a lot of these puzzles, I've got the solution on screen as well as my beautiful voice, just in case. Now for this one, all you've got to do then, you've got to do the uh, middle left button, click the middle left button, click the middle right button, and click the bottom left button. So again, that was the middle left, middle right, bottom left button to click, and that'll open up, then we can get the strange artifact, and we're good to go. So let's go out of this room, head to the direct, uh, immediate left, and we can see these, and we can inspect these little bits of things so the first one there is the red so the red triangle then for the second one it's a purple diamond the third one is going to be a yellow pentagon and the fourth one is a green circle so it's red triangle purple diamond yellow pentagon green circle so go in here and read the newspaper so that should be your fourth now yes fourth one out of 13 i believe um, so open up this uh, cupboard sort of here at the back just to the right where the paper was and pick up the spray paint Oh, yeah, here we go. So we're gonna need that uh, Now we can get out of this room into the open courtyard and go straight uh, Basically ahead where this big giant knocker dude is So we're going to inspect this we're gonna press a to use the item on his nose and That is what the strange sculpture is now. We need to put his face as something sort of specific so the eyebrow the left one just click once and then click twice on the right eyebrow, so the eyebrows are looking like that. Click twice on both eyes, so that he's sort of looking down towards the right. So that's twice on both eyes. Um, click on the mouth once, and then just interact with the nose. And that is how you do that. So his eyebrow, that's exactly what it should be looking like. And then we can nip in. Couple of puzzles, of course, in here, what we're going to do then. So we're going to pick up both the keys, so key number two. Key dumper two, and then key number five. Imagine being a fifth child in a family. God damn. No, I'm joking. I don't actually know. We're going to use the items on the door to the right of where we just got the fifth key. Uh, because basically on top it will say uh, numbers. It'll have this one, of course, is number seven, which is why we can use the number five and the number two key. So for this first puzzle, then, we're going to uh, push the very first one once, so he turns to the left, 
Megan, the second one, we're going to push twice, so we look, she looks to the right. Helen, the third one, push once, so she looks to the left. And then Fergus, push twice, so he looks to the right. So that's left, right, left, right. That'll open up that, so we can grab the key number seven, key number four, and key number three. So from here, we're going to turn around. And we're going to go to the right, which has the number ten on it. So, of course, you just need to add up the keys to number 10. So, use the items. We're going to go for a nice 7 and a nice number 4. Bah, banter, I can do math. 7 and 3 equals 10. Bah, I'm so good. Right, so for this one then, all we're going to do is click on Timmy on the very left. Just once. Then Michelle. And then finally, Windsor. Just click on them once and that will open up the doors. So, it was Timmy, Michelle and Windsor. Pick up the number 1 key. What kind of wiener name is number one? Hello, I am number one. Anyway, head to the next uh, door on the right. And again, we are going to use, of course, the key number four and key number one. Now, all you got to do is put these uh, from sort of basically tallest to shortest. So I'll tell you exactly what to do here and where to put them. So one to five is left to right. So pick up the third one and put it on the right, which is number five. So switch them. Then pick the uh, number one and put that with number four. Then grab the second bust and uh, swap that with number one. And then the third one, swap that with the second one. And that is how you do that. So if you want, if you want, of course, you can just pause the video there uh, just to see exactly what they are supposed to look like. But usually if I say le left to right will always be one to five. But anyway, once... That is done. We can get out of here again. Keep remember to keep sprinting. You know, we need that 400 meter achievement. Inspect, use item, use the spray paint, and that is bam, drop, done up your nan. Oh, yeah, it's official. You're up there with the greats. You've got a lot of work ahead of you to earn that mark. So, after a nice little cheeky nap, we can go ahead and sp uh, go back to the Hall of Escapers there. Remember the green icon, dude? And we're going to speak to Professor Slip. What's he, what's he slipping you? He's slipping you some hippie stuff. Nice. So, once this is done, we can go to the Headmaster's office now, which is, of course, where the key icon is. And as we turn to the left, here we go. We're going to be doing some inspecting of this. Now, we are going to do the breakout. Now, this one seems kind of intense. It, it actually kind of is kind of intense, but, uh, you know, still fun. All the way, still fun. So, we've got to rescue e Eel. E Eel! Right. What we're going to do first, then, immediately straight in front of you, we're going to read the next newspaper. So, again, make sure it always says The Escapist's Time. Now, we're going to go over to this little uh, doohickey right here next to the monitors and we're going to put in 104 as our first code and then press the little Wi-Fi signal at the top right next to it so that should be 104 and then you can either inspect it on the right or you can press the B button to back out and then have a look at the little machine again um, uh, I think again sometimes we'll just have to wait for around 20 seconds or so again you've always got plenty of time so don't worry about that so we're gonna press the key code one six zero and then press the wi-fi signal again so that's one six zero and then the wi-fi signal turret to world. right we are going to once again inspect with the um ting your machine and then we're going to put in one zero one zero so one zero one zero and then use the Wi-Fi signal once more. Okay, so which deck is the computer terminal on? Now, of course, all the clues are going to be around the place, but we're not going to bother with that. So we're going to uh, click two and then the Wi-Fi signal again. That's number two this time. And, of course, that's the whole point of escape rooms is have a look and around for stuff and then going, oh, all right, she's on this floor, that floor, whatever. So when we get to this point and there's no signal on the screens, have a look at the screen directly to the right of where you are. And this will always be the same, so it's not a random thing. So move to the sort of top left corner from where you start, just to the top left corner, at the very top of the C if uh, you wanted to have a look at that. Then you press the A button and you should get this uh, next set and uh, sort of cutscene and dialogue. 
and then it's all back online. So we're going to inspect the um, sort of machine once again, and we're going to put in the code 104. So that'll be 104 this time. I'm accessing the terminal. Give me a moment. There is a lot of information. And while we wait, what we can do here is turn around and have a look at the fax machine here. The, uh, the, they've already sent a couple off, so you've got to pick them up anyway. So that will be three that I think we've just got there for the present data. So grab them, then we can head back to the doohickey machine. And this time we're going to input the code 503. So that'll be 503, and then press the Wi-Fi signal again. They're holding here. I'm on route. So with the keys to the campus achievement there, it's not for doing 30 locks, unlocking 30 locks, it's basically for completing 30 puzzles. So you should have pretty much got that at the exact same time I did there. Right, so once um, everything's chilled out and we're all good to go, we're going to type in the code 24213. Is that 24213? And again, of course, we're going to press the Wi-Fi signal. Again, just don't worry about the time at the top. You've got literally plenty of time. We never need this much time. And basically, the electrics are going to go off now. So it's going to be a very small but very easy puzzle. Once it all nips off, and you know when the electric goes off, because, well, everything will not be working. Pretty sure you know how a power cut works by now. And if you haven't, then damn, aren't you lucky? Right, so what we need to do is put the levers to where it says charger and how we spell out charger. So C is at the very top, top left. So it's basically left, right, right, left, right, right. So C H A R G E R. Oh, charge, sorry, not charger. So that is how it looks. So again, lever to the left, then lever right, right, left, right, right. That is how that looks. So it spells charge and. Damn, someone got that very nice and easy. Um, so we just have to wait for just a few seconds, and then we can put in the code. You can't do it too early. Come on, Shand. Come on, Ed, Head Aster. <laughs> right, now we can type in the code, 713, and then we got a sort of, a, a sort of well, kind of a very, very mini game where we shoot a couple of things. So press the left stick to move, and we're going to move to the right. And then press the A button on the turrets. There it is. There's one. Move to the right. There's another one. Move to the right. There's the third one. Jobs done. And that is how we do that chapter. Remote rescue. So that's... You make me wanna break out. Foo Fighters, anyone? All because of you. <laughs> so, welcome to chapter 2 of the rest of your life. So, we're going to interact with the quad here. We're going to go ahead and speak to Gillian. Gillian Anderson. Or Gillian, again, who seems to be the only other student on campus, weirdly. Then we can interact with the bottom right corner there, the library. We're going to speak to Professor Slippit. Where are you slipping that stuff, boy? You better not be in me. And then we can talk to the headmaster. And then speaking to these two should actually get you the chatterbox achievement. These count as two people. So now as long as you've been following along, you should get the chatterbox achievement. If not, do not worry. We've literally got plenty of other opportunities to talk to other people, which I will show you anyway. So again, if you haven't got it yet, don't panic. So again, you can do these three missions in any order. We're just going to go from left to right because that seems just a lot. It just plays nicely for me, to be honest. And it is a lab rat. They must have looked at my face and, uh, yep, decided, there's the rat, let's put him in a lab. Less sad rat noises. So, tis hack quantity. So what we're going to do then, immediately turn around and then head down into this little room. Have a look at the seti on the left to grab a power tube. And then have a look at the table, inspect that and grab up a couple of coins. Cheeky bit of a uh, couple of quid there, happy days. Right, just by the TV and by the uh, GameCube, there is another a newspaper for us to read. And then immediately to the right, interact with the vending machine, use the item, and use, of course, the spare poundages that we poundagingly found. Choose C4. And 
explode! It's an exploding donut. Well, it explodes out your butt, especially if they're stale donuts. But they're still damn tasty. So pick up the donut, turn directly around, and go back to the other side of this room. Use the item on the set of dirty dishes. Uh, the donut, of course, because rats ain't really into power tubes. Then we can pick up the rat called a turmeric, which is hilarious. I use turmeric the rat on all my wheelings and dealings. Right, head to the left as we come up into this room on this little board to grab the second one. And on the settee, just to the left of it there, is another power tube. So head to the other side of the room. Use the rat here with the rat wheel. I mean, it's a hamster wheel, but uh, nah, rat wheel's good. Then just to the right of that, we're going to use all three power tubes. So there's the one, the second one is just above it, and the third one is going to be just to the right of it. So there we go. Look at that, that's all it takes. I am a goddamn electronic connection. Right, you can use absolutely any screen, doesn't matter which one it is, because it always ends up the same code anyway. So it is square, circle, square, triangle, circle. Again, you can do this on any monitor, it all ends up with the same puzzle here. So square, circle, square, triangle, circle, press submit, go into viruses, and then type in the code 1101, bender style. 1100111111. If you've seen the future armor episode, of course. Uh, right, pick up the floppy disk. And anyone under 25 has just gone really confused and gone, what the hell did you just call me? Floppy di disk, mate, disk. Anyway, over to the lasers, make sure to input the safe word SAFER, or the code word SAFER, right over by the lasers, so that's SAFER. We are now 0% safer intruders, which is always good. Go over to the next ATM looking thing, use the item, use the floppy disk. I didn't call you a floppy dick, just a disk. Right, now this one is not very tricky, but I will tell you exactly what to do. So on the big screen right there, you can see a set of footprints and a head. So the footprints is what we need to get to, and the head is you. So as you can see right there, and we need to avoid the red skulls. So you've got to be very careful and just go down and try and get to the skull. So of course we need to go off the pad here, go ever slightly to the right, and then go up. This time it's going to be upside down, so you just need to be very careful. So we go to the left, and then we go up one, to sort of go down one, and then back, and then we go to the right. So, again, if you uh, manage to sort of mess that up or whatever, it's fine that the puzzle just resets and you'll have literally unlimited amount of tries on that one. Uh, but hopefully I explained that pretty well there. It did go by pretty quickly. Apologies about that. And we just need to push these switches now in a particular order. And here we go. So it's going to be uh, E, which is uh, behind us right there. So number E. Turn around. It's going to be number B. And then we're going for the letter D. Everybody loves the D, whether they admit it or not. Um, the letter D, of course. Number H. Number F. L the letter G. Everybody loves the G. No, no, they don't. The number C. The letter A. And that's the end of that chapter. Query result. Hack complete. Expulsion repeal. Really set the record straight. So as we escape our dorm then, again, if you've got the chatterbox achievement, you can just go to the next level if you want. But again, I'm just going to show you just the last three that we speak to here, just in case you still haven't got it. So we end up speaking to the weird computer who done that weird dance puzzle, but I enjoyed I enjoyed the dance puzzle. Next, we're going to head to the middle of the keys, and we're heading to the cafeteria for a cheeky boy game. You can eat all the burgers if you want. Uh, it doesn't make you any less bigger or skinnier or whatever. But we are going to start the level trial by taste. This is very much, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, a Bush Tucker trial. Um, Except, honestly, I'm just going to spoil it, we end up getting poisoned, which doesn't normally happen on that show. So, turn directly around as we start. You can eat the burger, and then you can eat the fish as it comes out. But, it is the third item of what we need in. A used condom? God, not a used condom. No, we need the funky fork, which, uh, oof. Ah, you stick that on, yeah, that's going to pinch a bit. Head over to the front here, and you can see the next fork that we're going to grab. Just in the set of dishes right there. 
And then what we're going to do is actually turn directly around. Or sort of to the left of us, sorry, right there. And pick up the fire extinguisher. That's going to come in handy. Who's buying Brussels sprouts, please? You make me sick. Go over to the microwave. Input the code 335. Boop, 335. And you have just... <laughs> Who is putting one steak in a goddamn microwave, and who's putting the fork in there as well? We need to use the fire extinguisher and, uh, you know, literally tear up at the state of that fork. But again, some people love a literal black steak for some reason. Oh, love it burnt, yes, mm, delicious, for some reason. So we need to use specific forks on the lock. So of course, as you can see, for the first one on the left, we need the one with two prongs sticking up. The one in the middle, of course, will be the one pinky, very posh pinky fork. Oh, hello, rather. <laughs> and all that posh stuff. And then, of course, we want for the heavy metal sign. Yeah! And that is the end of that chapter. We're drinking it. We have finished it. Except, hell no, nah, bruh. We got poisoned to hell, bruh. Man, now I'm going to crap my pants, bruh. Right after I die, bruh. So anyway, enough with the bruh. What we're going to do, we're going to back out of here. Go to the right where it says freezer. And then we're going to... Input this specific code, so it's square first, and when I say ring, I mean it's basically a circle that's not a full coloured in circle, so sort of like, yeah, circle like that. So, it's a square, a ring, it's a half ring, and then it's a square, and that'll open up the freezer. Now we can, you know what, a freezer will come in handy in Britain right now, and everywhere in the world. Goddamn boiling right now. Unless you're watching this in winter, then it's freezing right now. So anyway, have a look at the ice cubes and grab the key. The, the ice cube with the key at the bottom of the shelf. You can have a look at other stuff as well, but there's nothing else we need. Go over to the um, Hobbs right here. Use the item with the boiling sauce. Ice cube with the key. Or you could have just chewed it. That would have been nicer and more refreshing in this summer winter heat. And then we can just inspect the door. Use the key with it. And who's hiding keys in ice cubes, by the way? Anyway, to the right. Take it back now, y'all. Go to the left, and then you can see the newspaper on here. Now, if it says somebody threw a party or wasn't invited, that, you know, it basically means that it hasn't counted. So you sort of have to look either down or just go a bit away from the newspaper, as I've done. And there you, there you go. As long as it says, The Escapist Times, blah de blah de blah then, well, you, my son, are fantastically good to go. So heading all the way back over to the opposite end of the room, the today uh, interact with the today's special and then have a look at this we're going to choose the top button the right button the top button and apple bottom button with them jeans and then we're going to crawl into the crawl space interact with the switch and head on down head on down to the end sorry this heat has made me literally delirious right now pick up the key and then we can just use the switch to nip back up Saying that, the heat doesn't make me delirious, I'm just delirious myself, which of course, you will already know by now. So when we've got the key, we can exit out of the crawl space, head to the left and interact with this glass cabinet, and we need to use a specific, I mean you can use the fire extinguisher on it if you want, but then you'll have to pay for damages and stuff. So we need to use one, uh, one squish of belladonna syrup, three dashfuls of calabar extract, so there's the one, the two, and the three. One mineral water, which is right by the glass. And then just use the cocktail shaker to uh, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, girl, shake it, boy. I mean, wait, I mean, girl, 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 now you know you're my world. Or I now lose it. Ah! We've completed it. Ah! Trial by taste. Ah! And you know the drill. So anyway, that's the end of that, Jetty. Once you've built a tolerance. Yeah. <laughs> and back out of our dorm then again like I said I'm gonna chat to these two for the sort of the last time by now you should have got the achievement but again if not just always keep on looking for the green icon if you don't end up getting it um, because I think it is technically missable um yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. I think it is missable. But anyway, uh, now we're going to do the tea kettle level. So basically, we've got to do an escape room where we have to make a brew for these lazy gits. Brew the perfect tea. Now, why don't they brew the perfect tea? Anyway, as we begin, we're going to go slightly left, have a look at the bench, 
And here is the first, well, the only newspaper of the level. So, you know, I click on it a couple of times just to be safe. Turn directly around and interact with this greenhouse on the left. And then we're going to input this code, which is A, B, K, and Z. Now, of course, what you'll notice as well is if you go to the left, you can um, um, put the thingy majiggy left. And if you go to the right, it'll start going to the right. So, you know, makes life a bit easier, doesn't it? But anyway, uh, type it in A, B, K, and Z. And beautifully, we have got four strange tiles which we need to do. Oh, we need to interact with later on. But we've got all four for now, so that's what we need. Turn directly to the right to interact with this little board. Now, what you need to do then is put the spanner on the left. You'll need to put uh, the two paintbrushes next to it then. So grab the spanner. Eventually, it's going to go. There we go. So it's spanner on the left. Then it's two paintbrushes. Then it's the two big blue wrenches. And then it's two paintbrushes. And then it's the spanner. So that's how you do that puzzle. Job done. And then with that one, uh, we can grab the chainsaw or the beast, as it is so beautifully called. So it's spanner, two paintbrushes, two wrenches, two paintbrushes, and the other spanner. Job done. Right, so from here then, we can be good. We've got the beast, as it was called. Turn directly to your left. Inspect it. Use the beast on the um, vine. Holding us back, and then we can go inside here. So go over to this sort of tea leaf section, where it says Serenity, funny enough. And now we need to input the code G-T-T-T-A-G. So G-T-T-T-A-G. So G-T-T-T-A-G. tag g -t -t tag basically. Then we can pick up the leaves, and we can head to the left. And go to basically the opposite side, and... Yep, to the opposite side, completely the opposite side. Turn to the right... And now we can inspect this thing. This is where we're going to put the four strange tiles. So don't worry about that flower there. I put that in the wrong place. So the very left um, item, we're going to put the bell, the sort of checkered bell. Um, go ahead and grab that flower. And we're going to put that at the very top. So at the very top, we are going to put the checkered sort of flower. The one just below it, sort of in the middle, we're going to use the uh, zebra style, the black and white flower. And then, of course, for the last one, we're going to use the blue flower. That'll open up that one. So what we need to do, we need to use the chain, or the beast, with the gasoline right there. For some reason, I try to use tea leaves on the gasoline. Mate, unless it's planning to get high, or very, very dead, I would uh, highly advise against it. So click the gasoline tank and then use the beast on it. So that'll fuel up the beast so we can go for round two. <laughs> then we're going to pick up a propane tank from the bottom. Press B to back out and head over here to the left. Use the beast again. Oh man, the beast never lies. When you give the beast a blue pill, he can go for all night. Turn directly to the right to interact with these um, butterflies. So just in case of any colorblind people, it's pink bottom left, green bottom middle, blue top middle, Pink bottom left, yellow top left, yellow top left. So, and then we can pick up the BB gone. So, I put in the colours, but I also put in the rows, just in case of any sort of people with colour blindness or anything like that. Because I'm just nice like that. So, we're going to use the BB gone, uh, with the B's on the right. Sorry, got a bit of uh, explaining there. And then we can interact with the valve. So, get rid of the B's, interact with the valve, and head t towards the middle here. Go to the right, inspect this. And then we are going to use the tea leaves on the kettle. Uh, go underneath and then we're going to use the propane tank. And then interact with the valve at the very top of it. And once again, that's the end of that chapter. A cup of tea can solve anything. Steeped in the tea kettle and lived to tell the tale. Ah, my star student. And once again, we are of course going to do the same thing. We are just going to go ahead to the greenhouse and speak to... Now, why weren't there any teachers like this when I was growing up, huh? Professor Bunilla. Hmm? There were no teachers. All my teachers were about, you know, 80 and the nips hung on the floor. Anyway, we're going to go to the arena, which is on the very right. 
we are on now to level 9, called the Rival Room. Now, you can't actually lose this level against your rival unless you run out of time. But of course, as I said, you've got 35 minutes in which to do it. So you can't, you basically got like 5 mini rooms, which you've got to do, and of course win. But don't think that you've got to, you know, sprint and try and get there as quick as you can and rush and make mistakes. I don't think you can lose this unless you run out of time. Remember to always be sprinting to things as well. Keep that one in mind. So, sprint to this open box directly in front of us to grab the next newspaper. Council of the Escape lives ban on floor of lava. Good council. Interact with the um, case just above it as well. And now we can pick up the medium gear. Oh, nice. Oh, we need some big gear. Turn to the left just by the board and pick up the large gear. Well, that's what I'm talking about. And then just to the left of that in the wardrobe, we are going to pick up the smaller gear for smaller people. I mean, for smaller um, things. So, interact with the gear board. Now, what we're going to do on the very bottom left, we are going to use the large gear. So, bottom left large gear. In the very middle, we are going to use the item and we're going to use the small gear. And then at the very right, not at the bottom right, but the very right, we are going to use the medium gear. So, that's large on the left. Small in the middle, and then medium on the right, and then we're going to interact with the crank, which is on the left-hand side gear. And then with that one, that's the bridge done. On to the second phase. Right, this one's very easy. All we've got to do is find Max, who should be directly in front of us, right in the middle, and press A on him and slide him all the way over to any particular one. Then have a look slightly to your right to find Wyatt, and gra uh, drag him over to the second one. And then, directly in front of us should be Timmy, so drag him over to the third one. So that's Max, Wyatt, and Timmy. That's who you've got to look out for. They're basically all in a row. So once that's done, we can now head to the left and up the ladder. And we can exit. Now we've got to do a bit of uh, mathematics, as it were. So we need to pick up all the weights. Again, wherever you're putting these weights, that is phenomenal weight carrying, by the way. But we've got green, orange, red, white, and blue. So, what we need to do then, first of all, have a look at this board, and we need to... Do these in a specific order. So red, you've got to put as one kilogram. Blue will be two kilograms. Orange needs to be four kilograms. Green will be three. And then white will be five kilograms. So once you've done that, now we can start adding stuff. So go to the very right one where it says 14 kilograms. Now we need to put, as we inspect it here, eventually, we need to put the white weight on where it says the times 2, or x2, and then the orange weight, where it says x1. So, again, very specific is what we've got to do. So, white on x2, orange on x1. Now, we can go to the middle one, where it says 9 kilograms, and you just need to put the green weight, where it says x3, or times 3. And for the very last one on the left here, on the 7 kilogram ones, we are going to put blue on times 3, or x3, and then, of course, red on X1. So again, like, like I said, for a lot of these puzzles, I put the solution on screen as well, just in case I'm going a bit too fast for you and it might be easier to just to pause the video. But as we go up here, we can sprint again. Always keep sprinting, keep sprinting, keep sprinting as quick as you can. And this is a puzzle. This is a miscellaneous achievement, which we have to do in a certain number of moves. So I believe we have to do this in eight moves. Now, a lot of the times, people will tell you anti-clockwise, clockwise. If you're not, if your brain's not that way uh, inclined, I'll tell you what to do. So, choose the right button on the purple one, then the right button on the green one. Okay, now leave those. We can press the B button to back out. Then interact with the circle, which is here, the very first one. Then the spade, which is at the very back. And then interact with the club, which is in the middle. So again, a lot of people know anti-clockwise and clockwise, but I know a lot of people um, are not that way inclined, me included. So we're going to do the same thing here. Go on to it, and then it's purple right button, and then green right button. And then we press the B button once again to back out. And then we just interact with the triangle, which is the very first one here on the blue one. And then we could just go again. So interact with the machine once again, and then choose the green left button this time, which is anti-clockwise just in case you wanted to know, but green left button, back out, and then go to square, and then diamond, so square, which is directly in front of us, the first one, and then diamond, of course, which is the second one, and then we go one for one last time, inspect it, green right button, which is, of course, uh, clockwise, 
Because for some reason, personally, I always get my clockwises and anti-clockwises mixed up. That's why I done it this way, just in case anyone else was like me. So green right button once, and then we interact with the heart at the very back. And that is how we get that achievement done. And we can just go straight through the door and head up to the final floor. That is the spin specialist achievement done. Now, this looks very daunting, doesn't it? But we don't have to do all the puzzles, which is slice. So we inter inspect it, interact with the clock at the bottom left, and we just need to put the heart to king. So you've got the four buttons there around the clock. So that is how you interact with certain things. So the heart, uh, you just press the heart button until that goes on to the king. The spade until it gets to number seven. Click, 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 click. Uh, weird clock, by the way. Diamond until it gets to queen. It's just confusing the crap out of me. And then the club when it gets to three. Skablamo! Right, Bane. Now you're wondering what that is as we pick up the silver medal. That is just for another puzzle that we have to do anyway. Interact with the bells on top of it and then just interact with G. Again, I accidentally pressed A. Don't worry about that. It's fine as long as you start from G. So it's G-E-A-E-D. So G-E-A-E-D. And we can grab... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's plenty of pigs flying at the minute. Right, so interact with this particular one, and it'll come up with Bane. Well, it doesn't come up with Bane, but that is the uh, that is the solution. So B E B A N E, as apparently I can't even spell. Once that opens up, we can grab some marbles, which we need. And then as we back out, interact with the bottom right puzzle, and the order in which you have to do this in is as follows. Uh, just as we got to use the marbles first, of course, because that is how we get through this puzzle. So then we need to use green, so the right one first, the right one again, orange, which is on the left, green, which is on the right, and then finally the two oranges, which are both on the left. Skablamo, Marge, good job. Right, that's the gold medal done. Now we can back out, interact with the safe in the middle, and then just put the gold where the gold is, the silver where the silver is, the bronze where the bronze is. And, once again, as I sweat through my absolute nips, that's the end of that chapter. Hey, sorry the day turned out this way, but you still earned this. So once again, out of the dorm then, I'm going to stop um, actually speaking to these people now. I can't be asked. I've been social enough to be honest. But as you can see, you've got three on the very left hand side. So if you do need any more, nip to those locations and give them a little uh, winky winky dinky dink. Or just a chat. Uh, no, we're going to the burning library next, which is burning just like Britain is today. And I know a lot of Australians and stuff are like, mate, what do you want about your goddamn fanny? It's boiling like this every day. But Britain, we are not used to this heat in Britain. Jesus Christ, we're used to rain, misery, and cold. So anyway, as we start, we're going to go to the back right corner. And we're going to interact with the newspaper, which should now give us the extra, extra achievement. Again, if it doesn't, and you've missed this one or whatever, there's still three more levels in which to grab the left, uh, next of them. So head all the way to the bottom left corner, go through this door, and then at the bottom of the stairs, turn left. Bit of a poor edit here, sorry about that. Uh, but go to the left and you'll see this little treasure chest. And it is right, right, up, left, down, up, and then left, left. And when that one opens up, we can now inspect it and grab the crank handle and the hourglass. Now go into the next room, turn to the left and interact with this key code. And the key code is 2257. And that one grabs us a um, strange artifact or a strange tile. We need four of these strange tiles. Kind of look more like biscuits than tiles, but there we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to head out of here now, and we're going to do a little hourglass puzzle. Now, you need to do it in a specific order. And the only one that can give you trouble is uh, sort of the top right corner, as you'll see. So head all the way to the opposite side. Use an hourglass, or use the hourglass that you've got. Now, what you need to do is turn the top left one once, so it's looking like that. 
Ignore that one, uh, the top right one for the minute. Um, so it's got to be sort of pointing sort of up left like that. Um, but again, you'll have to do it uh, in a specific way. So the, the bottom left one, leave it as it is. The bottom right one, you can use it and leave it as halfway. So, so to complete this puzzle, the top right one here, there needs to be sand in each side of the glass. So as soon as you turn it, uh, the turn the top left one as I was doing there, then it should open. But there should be uh, sand in both bits of the glass uh, in the top right corner. So as we go into this room anyway, uh, interact with this big globe, and then the red with the basically the one in the middle right there. We're going to use. Uh, we're going to find a picture of the sun. The yellow one, which is the one on the right, we're going to um, grab a picture of fire. I did just miss that one. Again, my half ginger skin can't take the fiery. Depths of hell. I wouldn't be very good in hell right now. And then it's A for the blue left one. So once we've done that, the one that one is the second strange tile out of four that we're going to be grabbing. So now we can head out of here. I mean, a lot of puzzles for a burning library, eh? And what are you doing, Jeb, you useless bar stool? So interact with the door here on the right. You need to put uh, the crank down in the middle. Now there is a specific order that you've got to... Um, mess around with these in. So first it's the middle, and we're going to uh, interact with the middle one around four times, basically, until the arrow is pointing down at six o'clock, as you can see. So there it is, so we can leave that. Now interact with the right one, and you need to interact with that until the um, hand of the arrow is in the uh, two o'clock position. That's what I was trying to say. Um, I accidentally missed one there, so just keep going until it's in the two o'clock position, and then interact with the left crank until it is in the 3 o'clock position, I believe. No, it's the 12 o'clock position. Still, that's what it is. So the middle one should be 6, the right one should be number 2 position, and the left one should be number 12. Then we can open up the door, head all the way down to the back. Now, interacting with this, uh, it's a, just a specific key code that we need to put in. The key code is actually 9896, but since it is upside down, it's going to look like 6869, so just keep that one in mind. So, it's upside down, so you should be looking at it as it says 6869. There we go, so it got there in the end. That I was wondering why it wasn't working for me, to be honest, but <laughs> there we go. So, uh, 6869 is the way you would look at it. That gets us our third strange tile. Then we can just back out of here. We're going to turn around, and then we've just got two little ladder puzzles to do here. So, we're going to grab this first one closest to us. So, we're going to move it down. Uh, so at the top there, go right, and then we're going to go up as qu uh, quickly as you can. Go all the way to the right, and then go down. Go to the right again, up, all the way to the top, to the left, up, and that is how we do that one. Uh, we need to climb up the ladder, so don't nip off just yet, buddy boy. We're going to climb actually up the ladder, and we need to um, grab, inspect this bit. And that opens up the door on the other side, which is where the next strange tile is. So now we can jump down, and now we can go ahead and grab the next ladder. And uh, this one's a little bit easier anyway, but it's not too bad. So down, left here, of course. And then from here, we're going to go down, left at the top one, and then up. And then just all the way up to the right, and then up once more. And jobs are good, on, buddy. So we're going to climb we're going to A climb, we're going to A exit, and we're going to A grab the last tile, our ticket to breathing town. Man, this is the worst fire in the world, by the way. Normally, we'd be dead by now. But this fire is slow burning. This is terrible. Anyway, turn immediately to the left as we come out of the room. Inspect uh, where, this basically where we got the newspaper earlier. And then just flip all the words that says through. So T-H-R-O-U-G-H, all the ones in the middle. Flip them round. And then we've just got one small uh, puzzle left to do. So, top left, we're going to use the anvil item, the anvil tile. So that's top left. Then, top right, what we're going to do is use the lion. Bottom left, we're going to go ahead and use the bird. And then the bottom right is going to be the weights. So, with that one done, that is the end of that chapter. I wish I could say the same for the library. Jeb, let the library burn down? Good thing you were there. No!
So once again, as I've said, if you need to speak to people, make sure to do them. But if not, we can just go ahead straight to the quad. And in, we're on to level 11 out of 13 now. So getting close. Now we're going to interact with the level called TNT. Now, for the beginning of the level, I'm going to show you how to get the newspaper. But if you don't need any newspaper and you don't care and you just want to move on, then I would highly advise just going ahead and skipping to 58 minutes and 20 seconds. Um, but if you do want to see where the newspaper is, then by all means, follow along. So immediately into the left, we're going to interact with this little T case. And the code is 143. So again, you don't have to do this if you don't want the newspaper. Just skip to 5820. But if you don't mind following along, then again, be my guest and let's crack on. So get the plasticizer, interact with the bulletin board, and make sure to grab the bide you. The big ditties under and uh, the key card right there, then we can head all the way to the left, or immediately left, and interact with this toolbox, and input the code 1178. It gets us Russian English Dictionary and Bonilla's Bouquet card. Key card. Or something or other. So, now we can back out of here, go to the right and interact with the key card, or the, the van right here. Now we can use the key card. Again, if you don't need the newspaper, um, you can just skip this because the front door will be open to grab the keys anyway. So, don't worry about that. But we're going to pick up the RDX from this little area. And we're going to go to the opposite side of this little area and interact with the campus police. And, oh, apparently we get the killer cardio achievement there. So I got that one pretty, pretty quickly. Again, so always remember to keep sprinting as much as you can. So that one's that, apparently that one's done for me there. So we, what we're going to do, uh, go, just go back out of here. Don't actually interact with the thing just yet, because to the right of it is some solvent that we need to pick up. So once we pick that up, now we can inspect the thing, and then we're going to use the RDX, which is obviously going to be on the left, very clearly marked. So RDX on the left. Solvent in the middle, and then the plasticizer, which is basically what every Los Angeles uh, woman uses, right? Plasticizer for her, her big plastic uh, um, lips, of course. Right, anyway, interact with the RDX screen and put that to 60%. Inspect the one next to it, which is, of course, solvent. We're going to leave that at 10%, and then plasticizer on the right is going to be 30%. So that's RDX 60, Solvent 10, plus the size of 30, interact with a red button by the side of it. And that gives us a very fantastic looking door buster bomb. Could have just had a key instead, but there we go. So now what we can do is interact with the back of this lorry. And it's uh, use the bomb on the lorry, of course. And then it's going to tell us to back away. It doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't explode your nostrils up your butt or anything like that. So that's all good. But interact with it. This is where the 11th newspaper is. And then that is how we do that. Now we can actually crack on with the rest of the normal level. So we're just going to head back to the sort of start of the level. Because if you didn't want to get the newspaper, here is the actual start of the level. So what we're going to do then is interact with the police van. And we're going to take the keys. Now remember, if you didn't want the newspaper, like I said, the uh, front doors, the doors will already be open anyway. It's only the back doors that we needed. Uh, for the newspaper. So interact, uh, so grab the keys out of the police van, then grab the keys out of the bouquet van as well. So that'd be two sets of keys we got now. Next, we are going to go to the left and we're going to inspect with this little doohickey right here. Now it's all in Russian, but I've told you, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is anyway. So it's A4. You sunk my battleship. And then it is, uh, you don't have to click A1, it's just A4 that you need to click there. Then C6. You sunk my battleship. And then E2, you sunk my battleship. So that is exactly what that should look like after you sunk my battleship. Again, VHS tape. Anyone under 25 is going, Duh, what's the VHS tape? But then we can head inside and then we can actually finish this level. So we're going to use the police cheat cane and the flowers cheat cane. Um, with the very left-hand side puzzle, what you need to do is just interact with the switches A, E, and F. So A, F. I am cool, I'm boiling AF. Then interact with the, the um, tick, inspect the uh, item, and then click on the yellow wire. Make sure to click on the yellow wire at the top there, the very top wire, and then use the clippers on it. Not sure actually what happens if you get it wrong, but that's all good. So go over to the right-hand side button now, and then what you need to do is just click the top two, 
the second row, um, right button, and then the bottom two. So that all five of those buttons are flashing. Interact with the tick there at the bottom. And then you need to interact with the green bottom wire. So it is the very bottom wire there, the green one. And then interact that with the clippers. And then we can disarm the bomb. And to be fair, she's very chill for someone who could have just been exploded to death. Maybe she's used to being exploded inside of... Uh, anyway, like I said, that's the end of that chapter. <laughs> what we should also get, if you've got... Um, you might have got the overachiever on the last level, by the way. But of course, I used a hint on the very tutorial level, which is why I'm only getting it now. But if you still haven't got it, remember that's fine. You've still got two levels left to get that. Plus, you can just replay any levels anyway. So, all's good. All's dandy in love, war, and um, other stuff. Right, so, from here then, again, you can have chats and all that bajazzles. But we are going to do this very, very short mission. But there is a miscellaneous achievement and another newspaper in here as well. So we're going to start the confrontation. See how cool in French I am? The, the confrontation. Find the eel. Right. So from here, we're going to go around the desk straight in front of us. And the newspaper is directly in the bin, very much to the left of the desk. Next, we are going to go to the left, and we need to do this, just like the um, one in the sort of Hunger Games looking thing, we need to do this in a set set of moves, which is 10. So when I say right set, middle set, I mean the right set of buttons, or the right set of arrows, the middle set of arrows, left set of arrows, etc. Okay, so as you can see, it'll be the right set, right set of arrows, left button, and then the middle set of buttons, the right button. So, again, apologies if it's a bit confusing. I tried to make it as simple as I can. But then it's the left set of arrows, right button. Then it's the middle set of buttons, the left. And then the right set of arrows with the right button. Then the middle set, the left button. The left set, which is the right button. Then the middle set... Uh, left button, and then the right set, right button. There we go. Because I've, se I've seen other guys that said, um, you know, go middle, right, middle to left, left to right, and stuff like that. And I thought it may be a bit, it may be slightly confusing. So I tried to make that as less confusing as I possibly could. Again, you can just replay the chapter if you manage to mess it up or whatever anyway. But hopefully you kind of got where I was going with that one then. Uh, anyway, unplug, and then go ahead and grab the keycard out of the um, Metal Gear Robot Bro. <laughs> Got to give us a strange keycard. This is what's going to end the level for us. Nice, so turn directly around. Use the strange keycard on the strange item. And that, once again, is the end of that chapter. One left to go, boys and girls. We've almost done it. And then, of course, we've got a couple of co-op stuff to do. But after that, it's Dan. Gillian. Right. What's we here then? Let's get straight into the headmaster's office. This one is the longest level in the game, but it's not that long as in, you know, I mean, it's probably about 10 minutes long. Since once again, we can skip quite a few of the level uh, puzzles and stuff. Um, don't know a time limit. Difficulty 5 out of 5. Nah. It's nothing, mate. Nothing. So, this, if you don't have the achievement... Um, cardio killer for sprinting for 400 meters. This is the perfect opportunity to get it now. So interact with the headmaster. Right, he's looking a bit bonked by there. Uh, don't know what happened to her. But anyway, what you can do is just keep uh, keep sprinting around this whole place where the head headmaster was. Keep sprinting around here until your achievement unlocks, and then we can just crack on. So now we can just crack on. We're going to head immediately to the left first, and we can open up. The first cabinet, and that gets us our 13th out of 13th newspaper right there. Go to the other side locker, and then interact with the very first one on the left. Now, you need to move the r stick to the right to go to 10. So, right to 10. You don't have to press the A button or anything, just as long as it's landed on 10. Then, left to 25. And then, right to 15. So, right to 10, left to 25. Right to 15. When that opens up, we can pick up the testing sheet and the headmaster's pin. Job done. Right, now we can just back out. And we can just uh, nip down. 
nip down to the other side and you're going to see this little fax machine type thing. So we're going to use the testing sheet on here and we need to t uh, just mark the A, C and E options. That's all we got to do. A, C and E. Of course, the, and then push the button. Make sure to pick the testing sheet back up because we need this around three or four times. Of course, you know, there's all hints and stuff in, on, in order how to solve the puzzle, but we're just going straight for it, aren't we? So head to the right here and make sure to pick up this 12 volt battery. It's dead for now, but we're going to spark some joy into its bowl. So interact with the 12 volt battery, get that. Then we can grab the testing sheet, excuse me. And now choose, uh, mark the B, C, and D options. So B, <laughs> well, let's try that again, shall we? B, C, and D. And then go ahead and push the button. That'll get that going correctly. And then we can pick up the testing sheet once more. And we can head straight through the door. Right, to interact with this big vault pole thing here on the left-hand side of us. And that's going to get us an alive battery. We've just shocked the nut of buttons off this thing. And we've got a charged battery, tidy. Head all the way to the end, interact with the fax machine testing sheet thing again. Next, inspect it, and then type in, and then mark up A, D, and E. Push the button, and that one's that one done. Now we can pick up the testing sheet, and we can just go to the right as soon as we enter in this room. Go past the vent, and head through this door and that door. So this is the this is actually the the last but one puzzle so what we're going to do is move the smallest one we're going to move that down just slightly we're just going to get it out the way for the time being so we just need to put this in a specific order from tallest the tallest one to the smallest so the tallest one here is on the sort of bottom left where it says a so move it up to the right up and we just need to get this sort of medium one uh sort of third smallest one out the way so move that down slightly Press B to back out, of course, and then grab the tallest one, and then move it all the way to the right. So there's that one done. Next, of course, grab the one that's just a bit smaller than that, uh, which would have been just behind us. Nah, it's not that one, bruv. Ah, there we go, look. So we just got that one. So where it, where it was on C, we're going to go down, right, up, and then right again. Next, we can grab the one which is just a little bit smaller than that, which is, of course, this one, which he just moved a little bit, uh, a little time ago. Next, grab the almost smallest one, where it was on E, all the way up. And then, of course, we are going to grab the very final, small, 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 the smallest wienerish one that you, y'all, can think of, y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all. Right, so that gives us a whole bunch of steps, which is fine. But, for now, we're going to go to the testing machine. And we're going to use the testing sheet again, inspect that, and we're going to mark up B and D only. Nope, that's A, you big donkey. Uh, <laughs> so B and D, then push the button. Then we can pick up the testing sheet again. And just head in. Uh, what we're going to do is just grab the D canister. It should be on the last canister here on the right. So chemical tank D, make sure to pick that one up. We don't have to worry about the um, testing sheet in that room. So we've got that. Next we can go basically just up the steps that we made earlier a little bit of an edit there because i was being silly next we can use the um little headmaster's pin here on the vent so make sure to use the headmaster's pin on the vent and we are going to start crawling through and now we are going to come up to the final room hooray right all the way to the end push the button and that gives us a little smashy smashy douche douche boosh boosh I like a little smashy smashy boosh boosh. Uh, now we need to interact with this ladder, so we need to push it down. So we can get into the drunk computer monitors. As he looks drunk for some reason by his face. Right, so as we climb down then, what we're going to do is head um, basically to this sort of battery looking one. Which we are going to use the charged battery on it. And that's going to explode him up a little bit. Job done. So we're done with the battery now. Go to the left. I go to the next console, inspect that, inspect it, and we need to use the chemical tank D on that one, and that's going to go smashy smashy douche douche boosh boosh once again, and we're going to go to the left to the next console, as it were. Now, for this one, all you have to do is type in or click the buttons which spell out self-destruct. So, if it's got a double E, don't worry about that, so you can literally just go S. No, not dollar sign. S-E-L-F-D-E-S-T-R-U-C-T. 
E S T R U N E U. It's fine. C T. So it has to spell out self destruct. That's exactly what it looked like. And he's going to be all like, Am I good? Oh, no. I'm self destructing. Anyway. What we need to do now is interact with the monitors that have just popped around where he is. And the first one, where it says Total Control, is just the start. Opposite is Stop, of course. So, make sure to type in Stop right here. So, when you've done that and Stop is done, what we're going to do is head to the right. And then we're going to look at the next monitor up in the sky, and it should say fun is a form of inefficiency, and that is undo. U-N-D-O. <laughs> then after this one is done, we're going to go to the right again, have a look at the next monitor, which should say... Well, where are we at? Uh, friendship is a waste of resources, and the answer is refresh. So R E F R E S H, as you can see. And finally then, what we're going to do is do one more, one more for the road. Well, two more for the road actually, but the last one in this particular order, Paramount is Student Compliance, is wipe. Like, wiping your butt. Because if you don't wipe your butt properly, you're going to get poo stains on your sheet when you sleep. And you can't blame that one on curry. So, that one is all done. So we've just got one left to go. Now we have to go and look at the main monitor where Drunk Angry Robot is. Click Prime Directive, and then choose the words self, uh, shut down, sorry, not self-destruct, shut down. So, S-H-U-T-D-O-W-N, and that would be the end of the chapter and the game. And then we've just got a couple of co-op ones to do, so, yes! All paths lead to one. Final escape. Goodbye, Quanti. I told you it was the end of that chapter in the game. And what we can do now is the multiplayer stuff. If you do not have a second controller, you can play online with someone as well. Um, but of course, if you've got a second controller, it just makes your life a lot easier. So we're going to go into local multiplayer. Make sure to choose the game that you've already done, rather than a totally new game. And then press uh, ready on both the controllers. Then to go into other levels, what we're going to do is go into our dorm, which is not the greenhouse, it's the top right there, which is my dorm. The levels are on the left on this sort of built bulletin board here, and then what we're going to do then is go to the second level. Uh, no, that's not it. The second level, which is the second picture, which, there it is, which will be the entrance exam. So we're going to get two out of the three co-op achievements in here, and then we're going to go for the lab rat level as well. So, first thing first, what we need to do is get the achievement for passing just five items to each other. Now that counts, uh, you can literally grab one item and then just pass it back and forth, which is fine. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to go over to the right, just past the uh, where we finish the level normally. Then we're going to interact with the code and put the code 253 in. Uh, by the way, you can do this on the tutorial level if you want. But I'm just showing you the easiest way I thought to do it. So we grabbed three items in here. 
what we need to do then is go over to our other character, providing, of course, that you're doing this on your own, and then you just press the A button to give all three. Then, with your other controller, just give the items back, and then just keep spamming the A button. Literally, you should only need to do that once or twice, and then the achievement should unlock. So, once the achievement's unlocked, we can now just go ahead and finish the level. We just need to basically finish three levels um, in co-op mode, and we can do the same one every time. So, remember, it is... Um, which is the first name? It's... Sa um, yeah, Sandra Jacqueline Solange. So that's what we're going to be doing, the easiest way to do this. So, Sandra Jacqueline Solange, that's how we do that. By the way, you didn't see me unlock the give five items to each other achievement because I'd actually played, I'd actually started a new game, completed and played the prologue first, and then realized that that was all stupid and you can just go into your other save game anyway. So that's why you don't see me actually unlock it. Um, but yeah, so when we've completed the level, we'll just go back into it and we'll go back into the entrance exam. And of course, we can do this in literally less than a minute. So as we begin, we'll just start with any controller, by the way. You can do this with any controller. So you go straight to the sort of ATM thing. And remember, it's Jack... Uh, why do I keep forgetting the first name? Sandra. Sandra Jacqueline Solangi. Now, you'll see me do this twice and then unlock the achievement. But that's only because I actually completed the prologue first. So that counted towards the three levels. Just in case you're wondering why I unlocked it early. I didn't unlock it early. I just done one. Um, so, yeah, you'll have to do this level just one more time to get the Studies Buddies achievement. And then there should only be one left. And now we're going to go for our favorite rat. The lab rat. The Bart Simpson rat of life. So, back in the old Dormenhausen of life and trousen. The lab rat one is where it says meet turmeric. That one right there, yes. Meet Turmeric, the old rat boy. Now, you don't actually have to move with your other character at all. Like I said, that's literally fine. You can still do this on your own. The, the way to get the achievement is just to do the whole dance off in co-op. That's all. Very easy, though. So, if we can't remember what to do, I'll tell you. So, we're going into this room. We're going to grab the spare change off the table. Turn to the left. And then we're going to grab the first out of three power tubes that we need. Um, go straight um, straight to the vending machine, which would have been on your right. Insert the coins. Grab the C4 Explodio Donut from your yeah, Poopenhausen. Not Poopenhausen. Uh, again, unless it's a stale boy, then uh, who knows? So grab the donut, turn around, go to the opposite end of the room, and, inter and use the donut there on the dirty plates, which is going to get... <laughs> which is going to get your rat out. So you can pick up your rat and stick it back inside yourself. There we go. Lovely. Go to the left as we come up into the other room, pick up this power tube, turn around, and on the settee is going to be the third power tube. And there we go, turn around, go to the opposite end of the room, uh, interact with that hamster cage, and use the rat. Use our piece of turmeric, and then of course, just to the right of that, use the power tube on the one. Any power tube, by the way. Of course, use the next power tube just on top of that, and just to the right, that'll be the third one. Job done. Right, so, turn around, interact with the monitors, and remember, again, it is square, circle, square, triangle, circle. So, square. Come in. There we go. So, square, circle, square, triangle, and circle. Oh, no, square, sorry. No, it is circle. No. Sorry, I, thought I got confused there. Go into viruses, and of course, remember, it's 1101. Nope. Nope. One one zero one 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 one. Grab the old floppy disk, and again, anyone under twenty-five almost got offended that I called them a floppy dick, but I didn't. It, what, it's, that's what it's called—a floppy disk. Remember, the password over here by the lasers is safer, which is S A F E R, not Safur. Well, that, that that does sound very Welsh, doesn't it? Safer, Safur. No, it's S A F E R. Awesome, I love being no percent safe from intruders. In stick your floppy disk square in the little hole. L like this little, you know, little hole. That's what, what floppy disk you should go into. I'm not, it's just, it's just, well, you know. Now we can do the dancing thing. Now, remember, if you can't remember from earlier, you are the head and you've got to get to the footprints while avoiding the skulls. So, there we go, just go up one, avoid the skulls, so go up one. To the left twice, and then down one. And then, of course, go off the mat completely. Go to the right. 
And just make sure that you're picking on that one. Now we're upside down, so we go... <laughs> well, don't go too far forward. Go to the left. Starting to get confused for some reason. So to the left, and then go up twice. And then go backwards. And then this bit always confused me, but I luckily I got it right. So you go to the right. And now you should get the achievement called Groovin' Baby. There it is. And that is Escape Academy then, guys and gals. So, now I really did enjoy this game. And I hope you did as well. I hope that you did enjoy the game. I hope that the guide helped you as well. There you go. So you should now have 27 out of 27 achievements. So again, yeah, hopefully the guide helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are legends as always. And thank you for everyone who interacts with me on the daily anyway. And that's that for this one then. So another Game Pass game complete, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.